I work for a company called ABB, which is a Swiss multinational. Uh, we're, in fact, we're the uh, biggest engineering firm in the world. Uh, ABB is mainly involved in the power industry, uh, distribution, production, and transporting, and so on. My brothers and I own a wholesale produce business. We're predominantly food service distributors of fresh fruits and vegetables in the Baltimore, Washington area. Well, I'm with Triple Five Group of Companies. We're real estate developers. Uh, the two largest um, facilities that we own and manage are the West End Tamala Mall of America, the two largest malls in North America. Blue Legacy that I started with Jonathan has been the latest um, and really most exciting way of exploring the interconnectivity of our water resources in communities around the world and how ultimately we're all downstream from one another in how we, we use and manage um, our, our water. I was the um uh, kind of a consultant and a dot-com kid who was tired of sitting behind a desk and um, I, I met Alexandra. She talks a lot about this this thing her grandfather always told her, which is, you know, there's only so many times you can be told about an issue before you have to go and look at it. We have to use technology every day to take people into really exciting places and in places where water issues and environmental issues and in, in many cases human rights issues are so poignant. I spoke to my daughter last night and talked to her briefly about uh, our lunch today, and she just was so excited. She's a <laughs> biology student. So that is so cool, Dad. And she wasn't excited that you were here. She was. <laughs> she 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 Googled Alexandra and said, "Wow, that is the neatest thing." And uh, yeah, they don't Google John Smith much, and I'm really <laughs> disappointed by that. So you've all got very different organizations. Your days are very different. Your goals are very different. But what would you say are some of the biggest challenges you face day to day? At the end of the day, money is money and, and operations are operations and we've got to make ours go as far as possible. In my case, in the IT department, we've got two competition because we've got the outside world, but in our case, we've got the outsourcing uh, reality of the IT industry today. So you have to be very competitive so your business, your company goes well, but internally you have to be even more cost competitive because otherwise, this person and this person and this person will be replaced by somebody else around the world. We do look at every investment in IT as an ROI. And our partners come to the table and they do bring us good value. And, uh, you know, we've recently uh, brought um, a new fleet of Xerox uh, printers into our environment with the ColorCube solution. I've been involved in a project where um, in North America for 10,000 employees, we used to print 100 million pages of paper. And very funny, the ABB logo is red. And we would have people uh, printing their email on a color printer, which meant the little red ABB logo on a black and white piece of paper that would cost us 10 cents. If you're doing an email printout and you have just the logo of your corporation on there, with these new copiers now, you're not paying for the color because the spot color is built in the same price. So they've addressed that that one obstacle and you can now deploy these copiers to your staff knowing that for a lot of their print jobs the economics of color and black and white are the same. Being a large company of course also means um, we have to protect ourselves from uh, spying because industrial spying today is probably the most serious uh, issue uh, North American companies have. Ted, what about uh, cost for you? Is that one of your biggest challenges? We're always concerned with cost but our biggest driving force is growing our business. And so we're looking for any competitive advantage that we can find. And one of the great tools that our, our sales folks use is this weekly market report. And just the document itself represents the, the quality of the organization that we, that we put together. So cost, security, differentiating your business. How is Xerox helping you with this? What we're working closely on is the ability to leverage um, the workflow initiation process right at the at the source. An employee today walks up to the copier with their RFID card, their badge, employee badge, and they touch the reader, and that authenticates them right on the device. And now the workflow that's specific to that employee can be initiated right there. And it's easy security, right? The interfaces that we have between these devices and our Active Directory allows the, uh, based on group permissions and LDAP queries, allows us to authenticate those employees directly in the copier for the services that they're allowed under the security model to, to uh, get to. We told Xerox, you're going to take over everything. And this is what we wanted. Not just in terms of technology, because Xerox technology is the best, but mainly also as a company being able to offer quality service. When toner in one of a device gets below 50% automatically out of Nova Scotia, a toner cartridge is shipped. And the next morning it comes in 
when we do share something that's been printed with partners or with our audiences, it has to be the best possible quality that we can, we can have because that is, that is what we represent. It's the storytelling, it's um, accuracy in storytelling, but it's also the quality of our storytelling. And that's not just on film, it's also anything that's been printed or produced has to be absolutely beautiful. So you're gonna have a Xerox device right. on the bus that you take out into the yeah. field. <laughs> And one of the things we factor into that isn't just the cost of the equipment, which Xerox for us was, was quite competitive in that, but the integrity of our brand as an environmental brand is really important to us too. So being able to deliver good communications and good interaction is critical, but not compromising the values of our brand is just as critical to us. Because if, if we run out there with a horrible environmental footprint to tell an environmental story, our integrity is shot.